is Berlin. I don't really know what she's doing or her plan is, but she may join us. <laughs> she may show us a bone. We'll see. Um, I'm here with another um, Dollar Tree haul. Lots of books, lots of fun things. Um, went to a few different Dollar Trees, so we'll go through them. All right, so we know I work with children, so I do like to pick up... Um, some children's books as gifts. So this is Penelope Perfect. And um, Lucky Jars and Broken Promises. Penelope Kingston is absolutely certain that her stall at the school fair will be a huge success. Um, Penelope's dad is coming to the fair. She has to make sure everything goes perfectly. That's interesting. Um, what's your plan, Burr? You're in my way. Pick. Okay. All right. Sorry, I don't even know how to cut this out. Um, what are they thinking? Um, are you losing sleep because your teenager is losing sleep? Are you worried about your teenager's excessive texting and internet use? Are you confounded by the choices your teenager makes? Um, it's characterized as a period of storm and stress. This is a PhD in biological psychology. And he speaks on brain development. Cool. And then the other guy is a PhD, a professor of psychiatry, psychology, and neuroscience at Duke University. So I'm interested to read that. Autographed. He says it's autographed. Let's see. I don't see an autograph. Oh, is this the autograph? It's interesting. Okay. Anyway. It's a masterful, humane work of nonfiction by a New Yorker staff writer. Um, it reveals an account of everyday people swept up in a war and extremism. It's based on the six years she spent living and reporting across the continent of Africa. It talks about the inner lives of ordinary people doing the extraordinary. Ordinary women and men fighting extremism in Africa. You're gonna notice I love nonfiction. Okay. Um, more books. Ooh, okay. I love getting these little things. So this is Serene Knit, Serene Student Projects to Knit and Crochet to Cultivate Calm Through the Inspired Mindful Craft. Learn to make simple, beautiful objects from shawls and hats to baskets and pillows. And it's a bunch of patterns and thoughtful meditations. Totally new. Okay. This seems really cool. Salt in my soul. She seems, it says that she was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at the age of three. Um, and then this is just live happy was her mantra it's basically her diary it's a remarkable woman who had determined to live a meaningful and happy life despite her struggle with cystic fibrosis and a rare superbug from age 15 to her death at the age of 25. for more than 10 years mallory recorded her thoughts and observations about struggles and feelings too personal to share during her life leaving instructions for her mother to publish her work posthumously Humor you know what i mean so yes, I'm excited to read this one. I'm just saying the duality of the covers. A book-led weaning recipe. 
um, including a flexible approach uh, to babies and toddlers to expand taste. I have friends that just had a baby that have toddlers that have kids. So I give these as like potential gifts. Oh, I, this is cute. I guess this is like the stuff. I'm trying to do all the books, but we'll see what we get to. My horoscope said this would happen. Oh, that's cute to me. Um, Disappointment River, Finding and Losing the Northwest Passage. Again, um, look at this beautiful map here. Um, In 1789, Alexander Mackenzie traveled 12,000 miles on the immense river in Canada that now bears the name, his name in search of the fabled Northwest Passage. Um, the historical narrative and the travel memoir that at, as, at once transports readers back to the heroic age of North American exploration and the still rugged but increasingly fragile Arctic wilderness. He went 14 years before Lewis and Clark. So in this book, he would tell the story of Mackenzie's epic voyages. Um, yeah, so it seems really interesting. And So Brian Kastner, who wrote this, right? Yeah. Um, is the rare breed of adventurer, a rugged individual who travels into the unknown like a modern day Alexander. Mackenzie and writes with the poetry and the eye of detail for all great writers. Disappointment River does not disappoint. Super excited about that. Um, as gifts for one of my clients, um, they love the My First Prayer books. So I just got a few of these and they can read them and these will be um, specifically for a specific client. Oh, and God made nature, it's for the same client. And we're gonna try to do all books. Get Lost, A Travel Guide to Anywhere, um, and it's just suggestions, and then it's like, are you alone? Yes. Go to page 166. No. Go to page 22. So it's just kind of fun. If you're tired of seeing the must-see sights and desperate to get off the beaten path, you're ready to get lost. The wildly different travel guide doesn't know where you are, where you've been, or where you've headed next. Instead, it will prompt you with questions and send you on a journey to find answers. It will ask you to embrace the uncertainty. Yeah, so you kind of like go through the book and get lost in the book. I love that. Oh, you got it, babe? I got two of these because how cute is this? And this is the guy. And it's Tuesday Tucks Me In, a loyal bond between a soldier and his service dog. Right? Yep. So sweet. Um, I love getting these little like reader books. Um, this is Woodward is a hippo and McTwee is a bird and together they make one funny pair. They pull, they pull pranks, they play games and they often end up in silly situations. Right? Um, burned beneath us, discovering the ancient cities of the Americas really into this. You may think that you know all of the American cities. Um, so it goes Cusco. Beautiful. 
beautiful illustrations. I love good illustrations. How religions kept city together. I love religious studies. So this, very excited about. I'm sorry if you hear the barking. This is the person that lives above me. This dog is old, so we just let him live. The Mad Potter, Georgie Orr, eccentric genius, right? So this is about, um, he was born in the Gulf Coast of Mississippi. He was known as the family bad boy, um, but he did pottery and he turned mist and mud into pop. So he's the Mad Potter, tells the extraordinary t story of an eccentric American maverick who was determined to make his mark and who never stopped believing that even the unlikeliest dreams can come true. Oh, I love this. So excited to read this. Another one for the kids, um, Praise the Camp Rolling Hill series, which means, oh, this is Color War time. Oh, Color War is fun. I work at a camp. Color War, big deal. Um, these are just fun sticker puzzles that I like to do with the kids I work with. Here's my second one in case I want to give it as a gift or something, or I want to keep one like in my car to bring to my clients in my classes versus um, um, I got these to give away. I love them. They go along really well with what I do. I can do it. Amazing me. Kindness Matters, and Cool Down. So, these are great. Um, I can do it, a book of perseverance, a book of health, being healthy and confident, a book about working through anger, and then a book about friendship. So these are really good. Um, I will ask for help if I need it. That's like really important um, to teach. Oh, here's another I can do it. Oh, I got two of these. The Tale of Beatrix Potter. Beatrix Potter did not have many friends growing up, but she had lots of pets. In fact, one of her pet rabbits was named Peter. Learn all about the world famous author who dreamed up the world of Peter Rabbit. I love Peter Rabbit, so I like this. These are more of those cute little praise prayer books. This is another perfectly perfect for somebody to burn. Awesome. My other things I got at the Dollar Tree. I got these. I got these. I love them. They're fun, different colors. Light. Love them. I got packs of these for my clients. Ooh, I'm just missing my face. And they have different shades. Super important to be as inclusive as possible. I like to do little projects where I use glitter, so I found this cute, like, confetti glitter. Uh, it has, like, these suns, and then just these basics, and then it has flowers, and then this one has, I think it's parrots. Yeah, parrots and palm trees, this fun color glitter, and then, um... 
these are flowers and pineapples. I've gotten this book before. I love it. Me and my mammoth. It's very simple with great illustrations, so it's very easy for another person to read, like a kid. Love it. Um, eyes, nose, fingers, and toes. I got these to give, but they also go through. Clap your hands and make a sound. Wiggle your fingers all around. You know, um, stand up straight. Point to your nose. Bend and reach. Touch your toes. So it's just very much yoga esque. So got them. Especially camp where we have like the youngest kids. Uh, love to get these wipes. Um, I got more motivational. So it'll be like this. Like, what does it say? No one is perfect. That's why pencils have erasers. Always believe you can. So this is just like to have. Maybe I'll hang it in my room at camp. Maybe I'll give it to somebody to hang in their room if they really need it. Another drawing rack. I got all the new lemon. I did. I'm, I'll show you another time. So I got all the new lemon dishes that they had for spring as my fancy dishes. And so I got this to go with that. And then I just have, I got, um, I love these. They like close like this. They kind of like interlock. <laughs> of course it's interlocking. Kind of like interlocking. So I really like that. And then they stack really well once they're all interlocked. Right? So they're great for all like craft things. As you can see. And yeah, I think that that's about it. Um, thank you for joining me again. I appreciate everyone's attention, comments, likes, subscribes, whatever. And um, until next time. Bye guys.